Welcome to the Behind the Board Extra on Harmony Generation in Melodyne. Uh, let's open up the Harmony Generation file. Double click it, it should load up for you. We're going to be working off of that same twinkle vocal we've been working on, but now we're going to take the twinkle vocal and we're going to make a harmony on top of it. Uh, we're going to start with a third harmony. So go click on twinkle, go to window, and go down to show editor. Here we are. So we know what we have already. It's a twinkle, twinkle, little star. Really simple. Twinkle, twinkle. All right. Uh, now what we're going to do is create a third harmony over this. Uh, when you create harmonies in Melodyne, you're basically moving the notes we have to separate notes. Um, but what we're doing is we're going to make a copy of everything first. So we have our original and we'll have our harmony uh, present at the same time. So let's uh, zoom out a bit so we see everything. Okay, now we do see everything. Let's highlight everything. So you could drag and highlight everything or you could press uh, Command A and you just push it to select all. Um, then we're going to use a shortcut to make a duplicate. Press your Alt Option key and your Shift key and let's grab this top one over here, this A. And we're going to bring it up to C. Alright, now there are two tracks here. It's labeled now track three, that's the one we're working on. Twinkle still exists over here. But we're going to be working off of track three, which will be our harmony track. Uh, when we're making harmonies, when we're making third harmonies, what we have to do is find out the key. This is the key of C, and we want to be two notes above the original note uh, within the key. Meaning if I'm on an A and we're in the key of C, uh, B is also in the key of C, but that's only one note above, so we're going up to C, which is two notes above. And that's how we're going to make our third harmonies. So this is a G, uh, an A is in, but an A sharp isn't, a B would be in. So let's take everything on the A sharp line just by clicking the A sharp line, dragging across, make sure you don't grab anything else but the A sharp line, and just pull it up one. Perfect. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's go to this note over here. We're on an F. Um, a G is in, a G sharp is not, but an A is. So everything on this G sharp line is going right up to an A. Okay, our next note is right here. It's a G. Um, and we're going off of an E. So off an E, an F is in, and a G is in. Those can stay. Over here we have an F, and we're going off of a D. So it's D, E, F. Those are in the right spots. They can stay. Uh, now we have this D sharp, but we're going off of a C. So we have C, D. D sharp's not in the key, but E is. So let's take everything on the D sharp line. Bring it up to E. And it was that simple. We have a third harmony. Take a listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are up above the world so high. And now we can still play around with this harmony, so you don't want to do all thirds. We could take this C, which is on a third now. Bring it up to here. Oh, twinkle, little star. And we have a different harmony. We can even bring it up one more if we want to. One more in keynote. And you could attempt to do even small movements uh, if you want your harmony here to go up and down while this one stays. So as long as you stay in key and you keep yourself at least two in key notes away, uh, it won't be too rough. Uh, you want to make sure you're doing mostly thirds and fifths, but whatever sounds good to your ear and good to your clients here is what you should be doing when you're doing these harmonies for them. Uh, this is going to save you a lot of time here. Uh, a lot of artists have trouble doing harmonies, especially to themselves. Uh, so you can go ahead and throw this in anywhere, and especially when a, a mix isn't popping and you want to maybe back up something in the chorus to really lift it up. This works well with lower harmonies as well. We could have went down a third instead. Uh, I just thought it'd be real simple to show you going up a third first. Um, going down would be the same thing, but you want to be two notes, two in key notes down from whatever note you're playing off of. Uh, thanks for being with me on this uh, Melodyne Harmony Generation video, and good luck with it. Stick with me for the next ones.